Hey guys, what's up? LD Shadow Lady here, and welcome back to Empires, where I just discovered something very interesting indeed. Deep in the caves by our new creeper farm, Fwip and I uncovered some never before seen villages. Oh my gosh! Oh my it's a new those? species! They must have been buddy. trapped here in the caves for so long. Why don't you come with me to Critter City? I'll build you a nice home and I'll give you jobs. We'll get you out of here. You just, just hold tight. We'll, we'll, just, we'll rescue we'll just, you soon. We'll come back. Stay safe. So now we need to build a whole new district for my new bat citizens. And for no reason at all, I'm going to call it the District of Gotham. And I think there's a good space over here behind the magical district next to the community center on this hillside up here. This is prime real estate right here. Yes, the birch forest must be chopped down, but it's for the greater good. The greater good. And this is such a cool view over the city, so I'm sure the bats will love it. It's not like bats need a dark cave to live in or anything, no! They need a cute suburban village, obviously. And I heard that bats happen to love the color blue, so the district of Gotham shall henceforth be blue colored. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> I'm pausing construction on the new district to bring you an urgent message. It has come to my attention that anvils have been going missing on the server. As you may or may not remember, I am very iron poor. I think I only have one stack of iron and a damaged anvil. So my little secret anvil up here is quite precious to me. I cannot lose this. So I've come up with an idea to deter the anvil thief. We're gonna need TNT and an observer. Okay, I'm gonna need some redstone. Quickly! No! I don't have any redstone! Oh! Okay, plan B. And the B stands for bat. My new little bat friends, who are still down in the cave at this present time, should be able to trade some redstone. Okay. Sorry, sorry, it's not quite time yet. The district isn't ready. I'm busy trying to catch a criminal and saving the world from the anvil villain. The anvil villain. Okay, I know what we have to do. It has to be here, in the center of Animalia. We'll set it up right here. Here we go. Ta-da! And cover it up. Now, we need the villagers to get inside to safety. <gasps> there we go. There, he's trapped by a tiny trap door. Get inside, it's not safe out here. To your rooms, please. Go. The anvil thief could strike at any time. Go to your room. If I ding the bell, will you go? Emergency. Yes, get in. Wow, those emergency evacuation drills really paid off. Now they're all safe from the explosion, and only the anvil thief will be harmed. There. Now we can resume construction on my new district, knowing my anvil is safely booby-trapped. Done. Some kind of joke, please, 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 please. Well, well, well. Oh my gosh. You are the Anne villain. Uh, yeah, well, you could call it that. I, I get kind of works, yeah. Is this some kind of sick joke? Is, is my, have you got my stuff? Is it in one of these places? Oh gosh. Jimmy, I'm stuck. your stuff is gone. That is an unfortunate consequence of the booby trap that I created to catch the Anne villain. Uh, I had, I had so much stuff. I had so much stuff. And I... yet, you took from others. You needed more. You took anvils from I everyone on this like, server. I had like over 150 anvils. What? I can't even do a villain arc right. I was going. It was going so well until I came here. I should have missed this portal. Well, that'll teach you not to mess with Critter City. Oh, I'll be back. I'll be back for Critter City. Don't you worry. I thought I was the villain. <laughs> You're the villain. <laughs> Uh, I should 
should probably do something about this giant crater. I was supposed to be building a new district today, but instead I am fixing a district that I blew up with TNT myself. But this time I'm gonna add some more banners as a show of strength, because what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. Right, Iron Golem that's about to crumble to dust? Update. My anvil is gone. So despite my best efforts to save my anvil, I have in fact blown it up along with everyone else's. But I don't have time to waste thinking about my mistakes. I need to finish building Gotham District so my bats can move in. <laughs> Voila! Here it is. Now the eagle-eyed among you may notice something is missing from this build. But for those of you without those astute observation skills, Gotham is missing its roofs, and that is because I do not possess the technology required to make blue wool. Yes, it is just far beyond me. There is only one person in this world who possesses the ability to obtain blue wool. So before I can finish this district, I need to take a trip to Glimmergrove. Hello! Oh, hi! Hi! I need some blue wool. I need lots and lots of blue wool. I you know I've got the wool, I've got the sheep, I've got the wool, I've got the shears, I've got it all, Lizzie. Do you have <clears throat> 12 stacks of blue wool? Actually, yes, come here. But wait, 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 wait. Yes? I'll give you 12 stacks, even more. I'll give you even more stacks <gasps> of wool. Okay. Um, If you can help me figure out what, what this weird thing is. We've been watching. We need your help. Yes. Please gather your friends and help us care for our plant friends. Travel so south of the docks to, to find our composters, and and yes. and it's cut off. Very okay. ominous. Well, very, I'll do very anything good. for blue wool. <gasps> okay. Got three chests in here. Let's see. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Almost seventeen. <gasps> thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, what do you need help with? Which way is south? That way. Because it says south of docks to find composters. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Do you have boats? Because I don't do water. <gasps> I do. Okay, south. I don't see any composters yet, but we're going pretty south. I'm keeping a lookout. I wish I had a spyglass. Is there supposed to be like a big, like a big mothership composter that we're gonna find, or? You think it's aliens? Is, is that the theory that you're working with right now? How else would I have a mysterious book in my inventory with random magical noises? Aliens. Well, if it's aliens, I have to let you know that I am leaving and going home with this blue wool which you've now given me. It's not aliens. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is it, but I don't see any composters. You know, the, the message could have been a bit more descriptive. <gasps> Lizzie, what is this? This wasn't here the last time I was here. I literally just noticed it right now. There's a trail of blue flowers from the docks. That seems harmless. How do you help them? I don't know. Do we have to, like, fertilize them or something? I am not pooping on these plants, Catherine. Why now? If they need our help, I'll, I'll poop on them. <laughs> <laughs> Where is this going? Hello? Hello? Composters! Oh, oh we, found we found them. They're so Jesus. kind. Fill our compost to the brim. Okay, what do you have? I've got berries. Do you think you can compost berries? What do you have? Do you have seeds? Oh, I can bring seeds. I can bring seeds, yeah. Okay, let's meet back here with all the seeds you can muster. All right, I'll be right back. Seems a waste of perfectly good berries, but now I am in debt to Catherine for this blue wool, so I don't have much choice. Oh. Ooh, okay, so okay fill them all. Do you think something's gonna happen if we actually fill these all up? Hopefully nothing bad. One eternity later. There. And nothing happened. Ahem. <clears throat> What a waste of perfectly good berries. Well, thank you for the blue wool. Now I have plenty of blue wool for my roof, and I also made a bunch of blue concrete. So now it's roofing time, baby. And this is always my favorite part of building each district because all the different roof colors make the city look so colorful. Just look at this place now. It looks like a real city. I mean, it is a real city, obviously. I'm a real mayor. Don't. Don't look at my river of iron golems. Don't know how they got in there. Anyway, Gotham is now ready for its new bat residence. And I have taken the liberty of decorating each one of these houses up to Critter City code. So I think it's about time we went back to the hole and rescued those bats. 
Ta-da! Welcome to Gotham. Please reproduce and make many. Now while they are busy, I'm gonna actually move all of these brewing stands because I have a plan. These are not work from home bats. They will instead work in the factory here. This is where all of their workstations will be, so during the day they'll work in here and then they'll go back to their homes at night. How adorable is that? It's like a little industrial revolution in Minecraft. Oh, okay. But what, you ask, will this factory be producing? Gunpowder products, of course, from our new gunpowder farm from last episode. All I need to do is transport the gunpowder over here, and I could just carry it in my inventory like a normal person, but Fwip and I are not normal people, and instead, we have devised a new plan. Fwip has constructed a whole base of operations over here by the creeper farm, including a minecart track that will take shipments over to my empire. <gasps> Look at it go! Wait! Oh my gosh! No, I'm not ready yet! It's not time! I forgot to finish the rail! Oh, jeez. Okay, okay, it's fine. Okay, everything's fine. We just need to make sure that this extends all the way over to my new factory. Two hours later. Ta-da! I decided to have the track go over the path like this, like a little railway bridge. And I had the rather genius idea of using a tunnel through the mountains that pops out on the other side. Now we have this tunnel through which the gunpowder shipments will arrive in the district and be imported straight into the factory, ready to be turned into very valuable rockets and gunpowder. Now all we need is some machinery. So these little bats can do their jobs, turning all of this gunpowder into very valuable rockets and TNT. So I embraced my inner goblin, and I started tinkering with some machinery, very much inspired by my neighbor Flip and whatever he has going on in the caves of Gobland. Ta-da! So, we have a few brewing stands here on this conveyor belt that the bats can work from, as well as some highly dangerous explosives. What else would you expect from an explosives factory? And I also built some completely useless machinery, such as these cranes. But the best part of all is the minecart system, which ends here at this hopper, which will then empty its contents into a network of pipes through here and into this chest. So all that's left to do now is the ceremonial opening by offloading the first minecart. Hopefully everything works. I think it works. Is the gunpowder? Yes! Oh yeah! Look at all that gunpowder! What an efficient way to move the gunpowder from a hundred blocks that way to my factory! Oh, and now that it's daytime, the workers should be coming in for their shift soon. Here they come! Yay! Get to work! <gasps> no! Not the train tracks! Day one and there's already been an incident. Uh, oh my gosh, this is so cool. When does this gonna stop? Oh no, this is... Well, it's gonna be a long day, but my work here is done. Leave a like if you like my new bat district and I will see you next time.